Good evening, everyone. Today we are going to see how the sheet photopolymer plate is prepared. Let us see the structure of sheet photopolymer plate. The sheet photopolymer plate comprises of three parts. The upper layer is a polyester cover sheet, which is a protective layer. Below that, there is a photopolymer layer, which is light sensitive layer, which is uh, nothing but the, your image layer. Below that, there is a polyester backing sheet. that is a base layer okay. let us see the image uh, area over here which is formed onto the plate which is made up made up by the photopolymer layer below that there is a backing sheet you can see and there is no protective layer let us see what is a photopolymer plate the photopolymer plate are made up of monomer and a uv initiator that when exposed to uv light undergo chemical reaction that is nothing but the photopolymerization reaction to make the monomer join together to become a solid mass of polymer right uh, the thickness which are available for the plates are 0.04 inch to the 0.20 inch so uh, generally the higher thickness uh, higher thicker plates like of 0.125 to 0.250 inches are generally meant for the corrugated board and other substrates let us see the uh, various steps in plate making process there are uh, five steps in that first one is a back exposure then you have a main exposure which is generally given from the front side of the plate then subsequent uh, followed by the processing and drying operation then you have again post exposure and then the last step is examining the plate quality or the any defect in a plate preparation let us see the first stage of back exposure in this exposure normally the exposure is given from the back side of the plate with the help of uv light uh, which helps in curing the base of the plate right which forms the or which defines the relief depth of the image okay it cures the uh, photopolymer at the base and make it harder it creates a solid base on which image are can be created or which defines the relief depth of the plate plate making equipment has an arrangement on top and bottom to give different exposure so there are number of lamps at the top and bottom side of the equipment let us see the main exposure the main exposure is a, is also called as a front exposure here you can see in the figure there are plate and above plate there is a exposure generally it is given through positive or negative film top of the plate is then selectively exposed to a uv light to some of the mass or film negative so here what happened light passes through the negative or open area of the image and makes the coating harden over there the image area which is or exposed remains unsolidified the so image area are hardened while the non image area remains unpolymerized monomer which can be washed away using solvent so that whatever the unexposed part that that becomes non image area and which can be removed by the solvent the image area are raised on the base so whatever the raised part above the base as a hardened part it becomes image area that already we have seen in previous slide the letter a then washing out the removal of the unhardened monomer of the uh, of the plate is the second next step here the absorbed chemicals are removed by hot air drying to bring plate to the original thickness so after washing out we have to uh, dry it by hot air dryer so that plate can gain its original thickness so in this still in this step the solvents are used for removing the unexposed monomer this again this uh, after drying it is exposed to a uv light again to cure the plate completely this removes stickiness and any other reactant material which are remaining onto it after removing out there is a further state of post exposure so here Uh, any any particle remaining which is not polymerized any unpolymerized molecules 
or monomer has to be polymerized here okay so in this stage the uh, absorbed chemicals are removed by hot air drying to bring plate to original thickness again it is exposed to uv light again to cure the plate completely and this removes the stickiness or any reacted material remaining out there as, it, as your plate is prepared after plating you, uh, plate making you have to monitor for a plate for any defects present over there so there are certain defects which are mentioned over here uh, let us see one by one too much back exposure if back back exposure timing is too more or light intensity is too more when it creates less relief it is going to affect your relief depth of your, of you of your image that has, that i previously explained you that it forms a relief depth of your image it is reducing the height of your relief image right second inadequate back exposure so here uh, if uh, back exposure is not given properly it soft uncured layer in between so here uh, that is a problem which may create a problem while running onto the plate um, running onto the machine inadequate back and face exposure large uncured layer in between so here your uh, plate may lose the stiffness over here and become slightly softened over here and maybe get spoiled afterwards too much face exposure so it is a exposure which is you know very high exposure is given or an inappropriate exposure is given to your plate then it will again uh, going to reduce your relief depth now you can see how poorly the image area is present on the top of the photopolymer layer so uh, light orange is a hardened part and dark orange is your unhardened part of the plate so uh, these are the general idea about the uh, photopolymer plate making process this is a generally this is a sheet photopolymer plate making process similarly the similar process is carried out for the liquid photopolymer plate making only difference is that the photopolymer layer is in liquid form which you have which have to be put onto the base polyester sheet and then it has to give the exposure okay thank you for listening